Which is better, Acuity Scheduling or Calendly? Stand by. Hi, I'm Jess, the multitasking maven. I help entrepreneurs like you set up systems for success. In fact, I have a quick and dirty Acuity Scheduling Guide linked below to get you started. Calendly versus Acuity. I love them both, but I'm going to show you two major differences that Acuity has, two major benefits that Acuity has that Calendly does not. So what you're seeing right now on my screen is my access to my Acuity Scheduling because my website is on Squarespace. As we've discussed before, Acuity Scheduling is now uh, under the umbrella of Squarespace. So if you were to uh, set up your acuityscheduling.com account, if you had an account with Squarespace, they would flag you, say, let's link. And that's what has happened here. I'm going to get to my Acuity Scheduling in a moment because I want to show you Calendly. Calendly is pretty. I started out using Calendly and it is wonderful. I can set my appointment types. I can set my availability, set my availability based on the different appointment types, has wonderful integrations, Zoom, GoToCalendar, PayPal, Stripe, Slack, wonderful integrations, and Calendly also offers workflows. Obviously, this comes with paid plans. Um, the higher plan you purchase, the more options you'll get with Calendly. In this particular example, I'm using one of my clients' um, Calendly accounts, and he has his at the top level because he needs it. So now he is able to send email reminders send himself an email reminder, thank you, follow-up, texting, etc. Calendly really has a lot. And Acuity does too. So let's get over back to Acuity. So here we are, my Acuity scheduling via Squarespace. I go to scheduling and then this is exactly what you see as an Acuity scheduling provider or an Acuity scheduling subscriber, I should have said. So here we are with my appointments my appointment types, um, my availability, uh, move my face, the integrations. I have it integrated with Zoom and Stripe and PayPal and with my email provider. Everything right now is exactly the same. So if that's all you want to do, if the choice is yours, Calendly or Acuity two biggest things that Acuity Scheduling has that Calendly does not, which is what, which is why I advise my clients who are offering classes, um, I advise them to get the Acuity Scheduling middle of the road plan, or at, at least the plan, because without further ado, coupons and packages. So we go to appointment types and we tap on coupons. So let's imagine that you see Sally in the grocery store and they want to go to your beginner knitting class. Sally gives you $20 for your next class. You're already an incredibly busy person. You do not need to remember to set Sally up and email Sally the Zoom link and the confirmation, etc. Instead, you come in here, create a coupon for Sally, email Sally the coupon code, instructions on how to use the coupon code, super easy by the way and you're done and then sally will get the uh email email confirmation they will get the zoom link they'll get everything that anyone does who visits your website to sign up for beginner knitting the second thing are as i said packages so we come here to the home page and tap on packages gifts and subscriptions well you see i only have the emerging plan because i myself I'm not offering packages or gift certificates or subscriptions, but all of my other clients do. So if you have a special fall package, gift certificates are obvious. If there's a subscription, you have beginner knitting every Tuesday and Thursday for three months, set up a subscription. So Sally can then just be invoiced automatically once a month. Super easy, super convenient. If you don't need coupons, packages, gift certificates, uh, either Acuity or Calendly, but if you are still super confused about which one is best for you, click below to schedule the 30-minute Pick My Brain session. 
Watch this video next for more help with Acuity Scheduling and subscribe below. I can be your OBM, Acuity Scheduling, YouTube, multitasking maven. See you soon.